weekend I am heading out to Ray Roberts Lake State Park. There's two parts to Ray Roberts. There's the Isle of DeVoe down south and the Johnson unit up north. Well, I'm going to stay at the Johnson unit, even though that's a little redundant. quite a few years. In fact, I'm not even sure if I've ever camped in the Johnson unit. I know I came up and checked it out once and it seemed pretty nice. So that, that had to have been four or five years ago. So I'm surprised I can remember it at all. <laughs> Almost there. Oh, something I forgot to do before I left was look about some firewood. Kind of hoping it's going to be cool enough to enjoy one tonight. So hopefully they sell it here at the state park. About half the time they do and half the time they don't. You never can tell. And Texas doesn't have the best state park website situation. Well, it's run by the government. What do you expect? Alright, let's see... I'm here too early. Check-in was fairly painless. She said all the waterfront sites are taken. So I don't believe her because you're not supposed to be able to uh, reserve site specific at state parks, but yet they, I think they do it anyway. I don't, I don't know how you get on the in crowd to be able to do that, but guarantee there'll be a bunch of empty ones with nobody in them that they're just saving for somebody, which is fine. I don't usually like to be on the water anyway because it's too crowded. Everybody wants to be on the water. So I can always walk to the water. So she gave me a site she said that was fairly off to itself and if I don't like it, I can go back up and change it. So let's go check out site 90. It would be my fourth right. I think this is two. Oh, there is a nice trail. I wonder if I can skate on it. It's nice. The trash cans. Site 90. Right by the trash cans. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna drive around a little bit and see what I see. Well, these are real nice sites. Real nice level spots. Yeah. Oh, that one's cute. It's got a little bridge going across to it. Very cute. Hmm. All right, back around to 90. Right past the trash cans. So you guys, I got this package in the mail last week and I have just been itching to open it. But I wanted to wait till I was out here this weekend and open it in front of you guys so you could check it out with me. It's from my good friend, Dark Matter. Can you read that? That's so cool. I am so excited. Also, I wanted to open it with my Papa Texas letter opener, but I can't find my letter opener, Papa. I found it once. I put it in a safe spot, and I don't remember where that safe spot is, obviously, because I can't find it. But I do have the little um, Swiss Army knife that you gave me, so I'm going to open my package with that. Yeah, buddy. He taped it up good. We'll wrap the pop later. So excited. You guys check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Goodness. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Dark. That's beautiful. Check this out, you guys. He hand carved this ferro rod handle for me. Oh my goodness, 
That's so beautiful. Look at that. Put my name on it. That's so magnificent. Dude. Really. Thank you so much. That's so awesome. Man, another totally cool bug. This must be bug month. This one's fast. What are you, buddy? Where'd you go? There you are. I don't know what he is. Huh. Oh, well, he was in a hurry. He had places to go. My little campsite. This'll do. Kind of a weird time of day to hear coyotes howling that close to a state park. Very weird. Those coyotes are just right over there. A plane flew over and they went nuts. Very insane. Not a bad place to be if you have to be somewhere. Yeah, that's amazing. That's just so amazing. I just can't thank you enough, Dart. You're awesome. Look at the craftsmanship, you guys. That's so cool. This campfire brought to you by Dark Matter. He's your buddy. He's your pal. Thank you, Dark. Thank you so much, man. Stay lost, my friend.